Neil uh, was the, seems to be the, the only one who took the, the challenge because you were calling a lot of names, a lot of people were calling you, but at the end uh, you have a good fight against a, a veteran who has, has faced almost everyone in the division. Yeah, so I'm very happy to be back in Brazil and fighting a guy as Neil Magny. He was, he called me out, he accepted the fight. I'm, I'm pretty happy, you know, he's a ranked opponent, number 12, just got, just broke the record, 20 wins in the welterweight division. Yeah, I'm very happy to be at home and, and having an opponent as a new magnet. Very happy. It's been over three years uh, uh, without uh, the UFC coming to Brazil. And the last time was without a crowd. So people yeah. will be crazy on, on, on Saturday. What, what do you expect when, when, you walk, when you walk to the octagon? <sighs> I'm very happy to be back, like I said. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be insane. I have a lot of friends coming, family. <sighs> Yeah, I think the crowd is going to be loud and crazy. And, uh, yeah, I cannot wait to find Rio. I fought here twice, and I two times I got the bonus, uh, submission of the night and fight of the night. And uh, looking forward to, to another one, you know, getting a finish against Neil Magny will be good, especially in front of all these crazy fans. So, yeah, it's going to be a good night. You already fought for the title, and, and you have one of the – best uh, fights uh, last year, if not the fight of the year, because a lot of people consider your fight against Hamzat Kimayev the, the, the best fight of the year. So uh, what do you think you, you need to do to get these big names, this, this, to stay there and, and, and get the, uh, the pay-per-view main event and, and, and yeah. get these big names in 170? I think the first thing that I need to do, I need to finish Neil Magny. And I'm going to show you my availability. You know, I'll be ready. I'll be ready to fight again as soon as possible. And, uh, and yeah, first, first thing first, I got to beat Neil Magny, you know, and then I'll be ready, you know. Anyone for sure want to fight the top guys, I think that, that's the fights that are going to get me closer to a title shot. That's my goal to become a champion. But I do believe three, I think, three good finishes, three, three times they're stepping there and make a statement, I'm, getting, I'm earning another title shot. Maybe two, we'll see. But uh, so, yeah, the goal is to finish new mag and get make a statement Saturday night and I think that the doors will open to the next opponent and and getting close to a title shot there was a lot of uh, come and go with uh, Jorge Masvidal on on, in, on social media you think that fight still is still on your uh, near future maybe I don't know maybe I'm I'm not chasing Masvidal I rather the guys in the top Kobe Covington Uh, Bilal Mohamed, Hamza Shimaev, those are the fights that makes more sense for me. But we'll see, you know, I'll never say no for a fight. If the UFC offer me with a good date, for sure I'll we'll say yes. It is a good thing for you that uh, now Leon is a champion and he will be facing against uh, uh, Kamaru, but he's not your former friend or, or something like that. Is, is this a fight that excites you if he stays the champion? Uh, yeah, I think... I. Like I said, I think Leon's going to win this fight. I think the fight's, the first fight was very good, but we have the elevation. The The fight was in Salt Lake City, and uh, Kamar trains in elevation. I think Leon did very good in the first round, but they felt the elevation. Didn't feel good in the second, third, and fourth round, but ended up getting the finish in the last round. But now it's, it's, it's different. You know? Now he's at home, London. No altitude in there. I think his team did a great job on the fourth round, going to the to the fifth round, and I think they're going to do a great job again to this camp. And I do believe Leon going to remain a champion. You think Hamzat is going to stay in the division? I hope so. I hope he stays because we gotta we gotta finish that that fight. We still got we're not done, you know. But I believe he's going up. He was huge. I just saw a video of him training. I think he's a middleweight right now. Yeah, he, he looks big. Okay. What, do you, what do you think uh, when you see, especially the third round, because it was, it's, it's one of the more contested rounds uh, for, for the fans. So what do you think when you see the, the, that third round against uh, Hamzat? I think it was super close. I think he, he clearly won the first one after the knockdown. I think it was winning, but then he did the knockdown. He won the first one. But I clearly won the second round when they're knocking down. And the third round was super close. At the end of the fight, I throw more strikes. But uh, it is what it is. You know, I'm not going to be here, like, complaining about it. It happens. The judge choose him. They give him the victory. I accept that. It's all good. 
But we could do it again, you know, I think. But like I said, I think he's a middleway right now. But whenever he comes down, I think that's the fight to be made. Neil uh, has, been, has been well known for, like, uh, uh, taking the opportunities from guys because he, he looks yeah. – sometimes he looks like a gate, the gatekeeper of the, of the division, yeah. right? When someone is coming up, he, he shows that he has experience, he has the, the skill set. So how, how big is a, is a challenge to face uh, Neil Magny? Neil Magny is very – He's very tough. First of all, he's a six-three tall. He's way taller than me. Uh, bigger reach advantage, you know, and uh, a lot of experience. You know, he fought a lot of tough guys. I think because the way he's very tall, I think he's he going to try to throw a couple knees. I think the knees going to be right there. I think he's going to try to clinch a little bit, but a lot of movement. Try to work on straight punches. I think that that that's what he possesses. But me, I think I'm going to put a lot of pressure. I think that's a way to beat Neil Magny, put a lot of pressure. I'll try to knock him out in the beginning. If I can't, I'll take him down and, and try to work on my submission. So that's it. That's when that's my best and that's his best. Like, I think my best weapons will be my hands and my jiu-jitsu, my wrestling. And his best will be the movement, the keeping the distance, throw a couple knees, get in the clinch. But I think at the end of the day, my, my best will be enough to get the win.